GTA fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series out in space around the big giant lava planet over there. So we finished building the garden area underneath the construction mechanical room. Um, and well, I'm not sure if it's going to be the construction room. It's it's definitely going to be the mechanical room and where the electrical is. So we're going to have the capacitors and the O2 and a bunch of storage. I'm thinking the construction room is going to be across the way. And when I mean across the way, you'll see what I mean by the end of this episode. Uh, we're going to have a portion of that started, the actual hangar bay. And the hangar bay is going to be as big as I can actually make it. Hopefully we can get a small CV inside of it. We should be able to with uh, what I have in mind. So in the meantime, you'll notice it's oxygenated in here now because we've got the ventilator going up there. Um, I think we need to plant some crops here, right? So let's grab some stuff in the... I think I had it on the fridge. No, where did I put... Yeah, it was in the controller here. Okay. So let's... We can just put it on our bar here. That's fine. Now, this garden has way more um, slots, or plots, I should say. <laughs> um, uh, what do I want when we come in? What do we want right here? We want the flowers, the big, the big colorful flowers, right? Yeah, so this... Uh, so at least a whole plot of those. Now I think spice the other side. Let's do spice the other side. This is obviously subject to change. I reserve the right to change my mind on what I grow in my garden and where. But obviously I'm getting the necessary ingredients together for rations because that's a smart thing to do. Once you get rations going, a couple of rations per pick cycle, you'll, you'll never run out of food for the most part. Um, so pumpkins, we're going to get pumpkins going here. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so I, I'm thinking we're going to need pumpkins, more pumpkins over here in this plot here. And we're going to need uh, we're going to need more flowers. So We'll do flowers after that, then spice again. So four, four spice, three, no, three flowers is too much. We can do, um, we can do rows. So that's going to be pumpkins. And then We could do uh, 
How about, oh, I know. We'll do a row of flowers and yeah, because that'll give us one, two, uh, probably too much fruit and not enough buds. Um, and we'll do another spice at least. We're going to need, we're going to need aloe. Oh, stop it. And then mushrooms. You know what? We'll just fill this up. Okay. Um, down at the other end. So that's going to be all spice. And then I don't think we need a whole wheat one. That's a lot of wheat. Uh, I think we're going to need more, um, more flowers. I'm going to reserve that one for flowers. Okay. And then, so let's do wheat. We'll do six wheat. And then, you know what? We'll do, we'll do three of the honey. Let's stop it. Uh, I got a couple of the, natural stimulants there. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We've got everything planted. Uh, we'll have to make, obviously, some more flowers and still not sure if we're going to need more, if we're going to need six. The, the, the oranges, the orange trees actually yield quite a bit. Six of them might not be seem like a lot, but it is. So three, three plots of spice. We've got two plots of pumpkins. There's going to be two, two plots of. I mean, I guess you know what, you know what, why don't we, um, didn't I, don't I have any berries, corn, I don't have any berry sprouts, well, that's too bad, okay, so I think when we find some berries, I'm going to make, I'm going to bring up, uh, I'm going to make some sprouts and Get some berry sprouts going. Oh, that's really disappointing. Okay, well they can that can stay there for now. That's fine. Okay, well that's growing now. We've got a garden going. Woo! And with with a substantial seed base right off the bat, we should be able to uh, fill this up pretty quickly fill all the plots up pretty quickly and start producing um, um, emergency rations pretty quick here in fact what what do we yeah we, we can actually make them right now uh, not that I actually want to um, we can make more pumpkins and more spice and more alien flowers so let's do that 
So. So yeah. And get as much spice going as possible here too. It's eight. Nine. And fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. There. Probably going to use up all my everything I got. Um, so we can put some more space oranges out there. And some pumpkins. Six, eight. Okay. I didn't realize I had so much in the way of. Because I. Oh, because I picked right before we left, right? So I had a whole bunch of fresh stuff accumulated. That's good. That gives us a good uh, solid, pretty much it's probably gonna be a full, full garden. Excellent. Okay, well, while that's spinning up those sprouts, let's go outside and take a look <clears throat> at what I got started here. So this is the That's the garden level there. It's not really a big garden. It's just, it's a medium garden for one person. This is, this is pretty much going to be designed for a one person base, possibly um, co-op at best. I guess if you expand, put a couple, put another layer of uh, another grow up right underneath that one, then sure. Okay, so we want we want this wall to be all glass or you know we're going to be flying in from the planet, so maybe maybe this will be the door opening here. Okay, so what we want to do is let's get Let's get ourselves connected to the right box here. What are we at? Cargo box five. Base cargo box five one has what we need. Yes. So let's do that. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab the windows. We're not going to worry about the container extensions yet. And then, uh, oh, they're on me. They're on me. We're going to go like this. Oh, come on. Nope. Flip to it. There we go. And then go like this. Really? You can't. You got to do it through there, eh? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to map out where how far I need to bring the concrete out. So how far are we going to be going with this? Is this, am I going to be bringing glass out right away first? And then scaffolding on the outside. I kind of like the idea of that. I kind of do. I'm just not sure about the glass, though. I think, I don't know if we're going to need it. You know what? Let's see how wide it is once I put it up. So let's let's put up the um, emitter. And this is going to be the biggest freaking one that it can do. And we want it, oh, come on, you stupid thing. We want it, no, not pointing up that way. We want it that way and twisted and then flipped. No, no, like that, yes. Okay, so now we want this up against here and down and over, and that's on the inside block. 
I don't mind that. I like it. That should be fine on the inside block. On the inside of the block, I should say, not the inside block, but the inside of the block. So it'll, so it won't be flush with the outside. It'll be flush with the inside of the block. Yeah. I mean, the outside block. Yeah, no, let's do the, let's do, oh, what? And then it, it jumped on me on the last second, really? Really? You're crapping me, or was that, no, that was the outside block. Oh, stupid thing. Okay, I didn't really want it on the outside block. <laughs> that was the whole debate. The whole debate in my head was the inside block. Pay attention more. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Okay, so we obviously got to twist it because I thought the emitters were right there. Didn't it look like? But that's not. That's the window. That's the window. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, my bad. There. This should be it. This should be the right way now. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to come across. So this is going to be all concrete up on the top because this is going to be a big flat deck basically for CVs. And then, or whatever else, it doesn't matter. I mean, SVCV. Um, so let's continue this. Right, so similar to what I was doing down on the snow planet, except because this is out in space, I can get away without worrying about structural integrity. So we need 14, so we need 15. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so technically, if we come down, be too much because if I was wrong on my count, then I gotta pop all that out, but yeah, that's really wide, eh? Okay, okay, I, I think this is gonna work pretty good. Let's see. Um, okay, so now we need this flipped around, and which way is the emitter on? The emitter's on the outside. I want that to the inside. So flip that. And we'll put that there. So was that? Yep, that was the right length. That was the right length. Looks seamless, really. Oh, there's a, there's a seam right here. It's a faint seam. It's just a bit of a mismatch in the force field texture not that big of a deal it's hard it's hard to from a distance it doesn't look that bad it's good enough that looks pretty awesome actually that's really big oh my goodness okay so now what we need to do is we need to extend the we need to extend this So I guess I'll do it in concrete for now. Um, so that's going to be at least, well, to equal it, to equal it, it would be four. 
four on either side. And that would be a, a that should make a perfect cube. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So that'll be eight. Eight of the max size emitters. I think that'll be really freaking be cool. So yeah, okay. Okay, let's keep going here. I guess I could put up a symmetry plane, but I don't know. I don't really see the need to. It's just a quick little. Okay, so this should be perfect because we just got it for the top one. Okay, and then And this way, just flip it around. Now, that's not going to be the right, um, that's not going to be the right one, though. Where's the emitter? The emitter's to the outside. Okay, so we got to flip that. Okay, so now... We should be able to put it, come on, right there. Yep. Wow, that's, that's gonna make an awesome opening. This is, this is cool, okay. And then I was contemplating the bottom of it too. We could like just leave all force field emitter along the bottom, but uh, I don't know about that yet. I don't know how I feel about that yet. And I kind of want to, the other side is going to be all glass. I don't think I want any concrete on the other side. So lots of, lots of silicone. I've got lots of windows cooking up right now, so. Okay. Continue this because it's facing the right direction. So let's finish this side off. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I, I'd like to do it glass, actually. The rest, really almost no concrete. But, I don't know, that that's kind of crazy on the silicone. It's getting a little, it's getting a little expensive on the silicone. Okay, is that seven? Looked like seven? No, it's not even close. That's okay. This will still work. Okay, so that's three. This will be the last one for this side. Yeah, that's that makes an epically huge hanger. <laughs> uh, it's gonna require a lot of frickin' oxygen. I need to eat something here. It's okay, this should be should be food somewhere. But I had food in one of these, so I could eat that. But I, I just made food. I swear to God, I just made food. Oh, is it in? No. Did I put it in? No. Did I not make food? Oh, fine. Just 
eat one of your frickin' rations. <laughs> While I fumble around in the dark looking for food. Because for some stupid reason, I don't seem to know. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm out. Okay, I gotta keep, I gotta make food then. Um, okay, so it looks like that's ready to pick. Let's, or not ready to pick, but ready to plant. So I think we should go back in really quick and plant that, get those. As you can see the food situation, I'm going to have to work on the, uh, on actually cooking up some food here. And, oh, look at this. A bunch of these are already ready to go. Um, okay, so let's grab that stuff. We can just throw it on our bar here. That's fine. Okay. So, I guess we can do the, uh, do the orange trees, and then we need spice. Spice down here. Oh, I made too much spice. Crap. That was a miscalculation. Kind of a waste of spice, that's okay. It won't be a waste because we will be making a CV that requires a garden, so. Um, I mean, really, should I? You know, I'm going to pop this guy out. I'm going to pop this guy out because he shouldn't be here. And then we're going to go plant the nine of them here and fill this up. Okay, what was I connected to? Ah, crap. Let's grab that. That's fine. Okay, so let's plant all these. Come on. Come on. And oops, I was in that block. I wouldn't place it. There we go. Um, okay, so that's the... All those ones, all those ones, all those ones. We need... We can put... The rest of the pumpkins in here and fill this one up. Okay. Um, so that's full. That's full. That needs some more oranges. Or actually, I want berries. I want berries. So I'm going to hold off. Because I don't have any berries. And then... Although I could put berries down here. We'll see. You know what? I'm going to reserve some of these plots for what I feel I'm I'm waiting for and lacking all the time, I think. I think I'll hold off and, and use them for, uh, for that. Okay, so it looks like we can pick the spice now, so let's do that really quick. We'll reconnect to the fridge. And we'll just pick all this. I didn't realize it was going to grow so fast, so we're not really going to be short on spice. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently, because, you know, because stuff is growing in front of our eyes. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Fresh picked buds. Oh. Oh. Nothing like it. Okay. Can't wait to get some gravity gen going. <laughs> okay, it looks like... Looks like I got no more... To, oh, no. There we 
we go. And these are all oh, shrooms are ready. And the healing herbs or the herbal leaves, I guess you want to call it. Or they want to call it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, head back outside. We will grab some O2 while we're in here. And then, so we're all good now. Um, let's make some food here. We'll make a bunch of meat burgers because, yeah. And then when it's done with those, it can make can uh, rations because it, it says it can. And we've got pretty much everything full now so we can start we can start consuming the product instead of turning it into more sprouts so i think we've got all the sprouts planted that we need yeah this is going to be good so i'm not sure if we're going to need more oranges and so I've, I've reserved i've reserved some plots to see what we're going to need. Okay, let's get back out there. We got lots to build. So, wow, that thing, that is a pretty epic opening, actually, now that, now that I'm out here looking at it. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. This is going to be one of these heebie-jeebie ones, isn't it? Because once I turn on the gravity gen and we look up, it'll give us the heebie-jeebies, right? Okay. I love that. Oh, I got to reconnect. <clears throat> got a burger already made. Nice. Uh, where was that? That was box one, right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, we got all those spice that we didn't, uh, yeah, let's, we should probably put that away, but that's okay. Fine. We'll just, there we go. Put that in there. Get this back in there. Get our force fields back up. Okay. So let's get this finished off so that we can get the, the front entryway built because that'll govern oh, yeah sorry I don't want to get too far away there we go okay um, because that'll govern you know what let's just let's just use our drone here that way I don't have to move around so much Building the entrance here will govern how big the rest of the everything else is, right? So, I think I should be able to get away with using scaffolding on the inside without compromising it too much. Okay, so I'm thinking, do I come across? <sighs> See, I'd love to leave. I'd love for the bottom to be all um, force field emitted out too. That would be pretty cool because then you could get like a ship in there sideways, potentially even to work on it. Something, I don't know. You could definitely get a big CV in there somehow or another to work on it. Um, hmm. I, I don't know. That's a lot of freaking glass. I'll think about it. Let's do, let's do concrete for now. Because I got a lot of concrete blocks. I don't, oops. God, stupid. Bloody thing jumping around on me. Okay. That's fine. Get this built. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, that's that's one crazy ass doorway. That's freaking awesome. I love that. I've wanted to do this since these emitters came out. And I just haven't really had the opportunity. So here we go. This is opportunity. Um, come on. Ugh. Just show me what you're doing, you stupid thing. Thank you. Uh, yep, that's the right way. So let's do that. And that is max size. Yep. Okay. Stop squiggling. And that should be it right there. Yep. And the last one. Fits like a glove. Look at that. Wow. That. That's freaking impressive. That's huge. I should be able to fit a big chunk of a CV in here, if not an entire CV. I would say a, a class... Should be able to fit a class 3 or smaller CV in here. And pretty much any SV. I mean, if you can't fit an SV in there, wow. What the hell? <laughs> Biggest SV in the universe. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think uh, I think we'll leave the episode off here. What I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to finish enclosing this in. So this is all just going to be concrete up top and concrete below. But I want that wall to be entirely made of glass. So... Whew, that is going to be expensive. I'm not sure if I got enough silicone here, but we're going to try. And then the back wall is going to be concrete too. Eventually, I want to punch that out and have force field emitters, but I don't have the resources to make the force field emitters right now. So if we went down a mine on the planet, we might though. Because <laughs> that planet has some good stuff on it so out in orbit here we've, we've got silicone and silicone and zascosium silicone okay so we we should i think off camera i'm going to empty the uh the sv2 and we're going to go buzz around and try and uh, mine find some more silicone the planet namak come on namak there we go. Uh, it has a restrium and zascosium on it, plus some gold too. And that all, and promethium, so that all uh, gets replenished through depletion meteorites. Uh, we've got some other planets over there. Vrun, that, that's also a restrium, zascosium, promethium, cobalt, and iron. And that's on a temperate planet. Planet, a huge one. A huge, massive one. So that might be, it's really short. And I did find, I was looking around and I did find some more of the uh, fuel. And that was, where the hell did I put that now? It was in the, wasn't it? No, maybe I, there it is. Yeah, right there. So we've got... What's in there? 15? 8, 16? Uh, 17 plus, I believe there was some unrefined raw stuff in the... in one of these. Ooh, not much, so... We can get another six. So 23. So we need to go find um, the um, trading station too here and, and sell some stuff and try and buy some more pentaxid. We also need to, 
Actually, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the rest of the map here. We need to find Pentaxid. We actually, so Arrestrium in orbit on that one. Um, no. Oh, there we go. Planet info is, yeah, the Arrestrium's Ascosium. What's over here? Silicone's Ascos Pentaxid. Ooh, there we go. 9.8, I can do it too. Oh, I should go find the Pentaxid asteroid and mine that. That'll that'll pretty much cure any traveling woes we have. Then I can then I'll be really free. The problem is if it's guarded, that'll take up all my Pentaxid getting home again. But there might be a trading station there. Um, that's interesting. No asteroids. Neo silicone, iron, copper, sathium, promethium, cobalt. Typical snow planet stuff not what our snow planet has because we had starter planet stuff um except for the extra cobalt of course but uh okay so what about what we're looking for is Penta i think this is the only one with pentaxid in the uh yeah Yeah, other than the um, other than the moon, which we can't seem to click on, that's interesting. We can't. Can we not? Uh... Oh yeah, moon, moon, or Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so we can click on the moon separately. Okay, Pentaxid on the moon there. So we could go back for the Pentaxid. I think this is the best bet though. There's an actual Pentaxid asteroid with silicone and zascosium. I think, I think I'm gonna warp there and look for that. So I'm gonna finish building working on the the base here i'm gonna i'm gonna get this boxed in and sealed in um and then we'll dump the stuff off so that the sv is just empty we'll grab what we can we'll have a bunch of food and 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 uh, emergency rations made by then um you can see the garden's going really good here that's awesome and uh yeah those force field emitters they take up nothing like look at our power output this is so awesome our consumption 479 i don't bother turning anything off that's that stuff I, idling i guess at this point with all the lights on and stuff um so yeah we've maxed the batteries out they just i guess i should put some more I'll put some more um, capacitors in here. We'll have it so it's going to have so much power storage that you could like run a furnace full time for a week type thing and never drain it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it off here. I'm going to keep working on this thing. Uh, next episode, we're going to go explore that asteroid field. We're going to look for... Um, we're going to try and find the the asteroids for Pentaxid and the silicone and Zascosium in the in the non-combat spacecraft. That's pretty scary. I know it's kind of a risk, but I could really use the Pentaxid and the silicone. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>